Hi everyone. Today is the first day of winter, so I'm participating in a hashtag first day of winter collab hosted by Debbie from Debbie's Kitchen. Also, this recipe comes out of the Gooseberry Patch 101 Cozy Casseroles Cookbook. Today, I'll be making apple pork chop casserole. <music> So what all goes into the apple pork chop casserole? One tablespoon oil, eight boneless pork chops, two six ounce packages of herb flavored stuffing mix. They didn't have any herb in my store, so since it's pork chops, I got the pork flavored stovetop stuffing. And two 21 ounce cans of apple pie filling. So let's begin. So take a large pan, take your one tablespoon of oil, and heat that up over medium-high heat. Then take your pork chops, and I'm not sure if all eight of them will fit in the pan. If not, I'll just do it in two bunches. And lay these in there in the hot oil. And we'll see if I can make the... You really don't want to normally crowd the pan, but I don't want to make two bunches. All right, so brown them on both sides. So while your pork chops are browning, fix your stuffing as directed by package directions. And I am doubling it because I'm making two packages. So I have one stick of butter, three cups of water, and bring that up to a boil. Preheat your oven to 325. Take a nine by 13 pan and lightly grease it. Take your lightly greased nine by 13 pan and dump in your pie filling. Definitely go check out all of the other participants in the collab, especially go check out Debbie from Debbie's Kitchen. She's such a sweet lady. She has a lot of good recipes. I'll put her link down below. And then just spread this out so they're all on the bottom. And this is an easy way to do apples with pork chops, is having the apple pie filling. And I'm all about easy. So the stuffing is coming along nicely. The butter water is boiling. Shut off the heat. Stir in your stuffing mix. Stir that in. Put a lid on it and let it sit for five minutes. So then take your brown pork chops. They have to finish cooking, so I just got a nice light brown on them and put them on top of the apple filling. So then take your stuffing and put them on top of the pork chops. And get everything all covered. So take your apple pork chop casserole, put it in a preheated 325 degree oven, for 45 minutes to an hour or until the pork chops are cooked through. So here is the apple pork chop casserole and rounding out the meal is air fryer corn on the cob. Let's see what Dave thinks. Recognize this, I don't recognize this. That is apple pork chop casserole. Okay. Find a piece with the pork chop in it. Here comes Buddy. <laughs> That's pretty good. All the uh, all the flavors kind of mixed together. I like this. Well, I, when 
quite sure at first, but I like it. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.